Hello guys, in today's video I will show you how to multibox in the best way possible on Diablo 2 Resurrected. First, don't forget to leave a like in this video, share with your friends that might be interested in how to multibox Diablo 2 in the best way possible, and let's go to the video. So first of all, you will click in the link in this video description, It'll, it will take you to the Lavish software, it's uh, the software we will be using to do this multibox. You will see my email here in friend code, and with this code, you will get one free month of usage, and I will get one free month of usage. So both of us will get one month of usage. After you are done with your registry, you will go to your uh, to home here, and you download isboxer. It will take to this isboxer.com page, and you will click here, download isboxer. Once the download is complete, you will install the downloader. Once you downloaded it, you will click like you already have an existing and then you double click in inner space. Once you click in inner space, it will ask for your account that you just created. And then once you log into your account, it will install the uh, Lavish inner space and this boxer. So once the install is complete, you will see in the bottom right here a red circle for the inner space tool in the bottom right side of your window. Since we are doing this for D2R, I have been experiencing a, a few bugs in the newer builds of the inner space. And this is a solution that I got for me and also for some friends that also had the same bug. We run the build 7111. So the way we do it, we do Windows R to open this run. Or you can simply click here and then type like run, right? And then in here, we will type this that will also be in the video description. We will type this, this line here, program data, lavish software. This will install the build 7111 on your computer. As you can see, it's installed in the 7111. This will be better for Diablo 2 Resurrected. I don't know, some, some people run fine with newer builds, some people doesn't. If you run okay with the newer build, you can stay with the newer build. But if you find any type of bug when loading your characters or when loading your games, you can always install this build 7111. That, that will fix any issues. Oh, it's very important if you are not being able to install your version 7111, it might be because your inner space is still open. So you gotta come to the bottom right part of your windows and exit it, and then you try again. That was it, guys. As you can see, now we have the build 7111. With our inner space installed and our ease boxer installed, now we will double click the ease boxer to open the tool. Sometimes it will ask for some feature from Windows and then you will uh, download whatever framework or anything that the that your computer needs in order to roll the ease boxer properly. Okay. So once it's all installed and ready, open your ease boxer and you will see uh, in here character sets. You can right click this in, in the character sets on his boxer and you put quick setup wizard recommended. Now, which game would you like to set up? You will pick the Diablo 2 Resurrected and you go to next. Now you will create your loader set. So I will call it D1 for the first and I will put Diablo 2 Resurrected and I will put add a character to team. And how many copies do you want to run? I'm actually going to run seven because my main one, I don't want to be in this. Uh, I want to load manually the, the main game that I will be playing. So I will only add seven, okay? 
So D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, and D7. And I hit next. Choose a name for your team. I will put a name of seven clients. Here is how you want your display to be. I want to be on my, you can put it in your second monitor here. This is my two of my monitors. The display one is my main monitor, a 4K monitor. And the display two is a 1080 monitor I have, a full HD. And you can pick and choose which monitor you will want these loaders to be placed on. I will put in my main monitor just for the character of this video, uh, just for an example. I will select single monitor display one and I want swapping. Swapping, I will explain once it's done, but it's basically where you can swap one window to another and it will go to the main one. Avoid taskbar if you want to keep seeing your uh, desktop taskbar and leave a hole if you want to keep the one, the, the, the window that you pick to be left as a hole when you click the, the window you want to interact with, it will leave a hole where it is located on the, the screen. I will just put it so you guys can see what I'm talking about, okay? It will make sense once we are done. So I will pick the single monitor, corner layout, swapping, leave a hole, and avoid taskbar because I want to see my taskbar. As you can see here, there's a blue bar underneath. That's where, where our taskbar will be. If you don't want taskbar, you can just put like swap, leave a hole, and this way you don't have the taskbar. Oh, this was just display two, so it's it's placed on my second monitor. I'll put on my first monitor, leave a hole, leave a hole, and avoid taskbar. I, I want to see my taskbar. So that's it. Next. In here, you can put select C uh, the CPU usage you want to do. I will leave this as a default. You can pick up, uh, this is more advanced. So if you want to mess it with it, it's, uh, you, you can, like, experienced people can swap and use like specific cores and stuff. You don't need to mess with it. You can just leave it in the default. And here you can also set the maximum frame rate, uh, frame rate FPS for the background and for the foreground. The foreground is the one you are playing. So 60, I put 60 on my foreground and background 30, you don't really need to have a good uh, FPS for the, the background. You can even lower this 30 to 20 or whatever you want. I will leave 30 for now, but you can change the FPS values in the way you desire. Here is how you control the game. So, um, Basically, what I like doing here is this is why this is the best way to, to multibox in Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's thankfully to broadcast on his boxer tool and in inner space. So this is how I like doing it. You guys can change it the way you guys like. I like having uh, a key bind for my broadcasting mode. I will put shift, uh, control, I like putting C. I like having Shift Control C. Uh, shift Control C will be the key that will trigger my broadcasting mode, and that's it. That is finished. That is our key set, character set. As if you click in here, you will see that we have our character set. So if you click here in Seven Clients on our character sets, you will see that we have options in here. We have options, for example, launch each character one second, second after another is ready. I'll put here five seconds. You can put like five, ten seconds. I, uh, I would suggest you to have like a little bit higher than one second because sometimes that can make your loading uh, bug. So you, you should mess this. This depends on your computer and the responsiveness of your machine. So the best your computer is, the less seconds you can take from one another, right? But I, I even having a good computer, I would still leave like five, 10 seconds as a delay from one loader to another. This might prevent you from having uh, some bugs. After you are done with this, 
you go to file and then you export all to inner space inner space configuration exported successfully so once you imported all to inner space from isboxer you right click the inner space you go to character sets and there will be your seven clients whenever you are connecting your first time you will need to enter your connection info like the email of your account and your password and you gotta hit keep me logged in in every client that you launch you will need to click in the battle.net menu go to settings and then in under app you will put in general here on game launch it will be keep battle.net open you gotta change it to exit battle.net completely in every single client you will load okay and then you go down and you check if in startup you have both of these options remember login emails and phone numbers and keep me logged in and under advanced features you will need to have allow multiple instances of battle.net under game settings you can put the line if you want no sounds you just put minus ns and if you have any mod you can put for example minus mod and no hd or block hd depend on what mod you have installed it's very nice to install mods for block hd or no hd especially if your computer is a little bit older because that mod will remove all the hd components of your loader and it will make your computer struggle way less right like you will not have lags or crashes or stuff because the block hd will make it very very smooth you hit done you hit play uh, the the tool itself will automatically after five seconds log the next one and since we already logged here like i, I already logged previously mine will be automatically logging in in your first time logging in you will probably need to enter your password enter your uh your account email but since i already done it it's just launching right you always go to settings and you change it in every single one that you launch okay on game launch exit battle.net completely and then under startup both of these options and advanced feature allow multiple instances of battle.net game settings you also put the the mod that you want to run no hd or block hd and the minus ns for no sound that will also reduce a lot of your pc usage you do this for all your loaders you do it for all the clients that you're gonna open so this is the third settings and we go to app on game launch exit battle.net completely by default it will be keep battle.net open okay guys so you gotta change it to exit battle.net completely and you gotta go down here uh, put these two options in startup keep me logged in remember login emails and also allow multiple instances of battle.net and then you hit done and play so here's why this is the best tool possible okay now that you have everything open and installed uh, what I will do is I will open my main account normally with your like normal way of opening this is like gonna be the main job that we're gonna be playing so what we do is like for example we create a, a game with this one I will create like box one password one on hell difficulty right and then we alt tab to any of our loaders and i will do ctrl shift c and that's the broadcast on so i'll go to lobby with all of them i will put the game name box one password one all the characters joined my game Now I will show you another way of multiboxing if you don't want to use isboxer you will google process explorer this is a feature from windows itself and once you installed it you pick like in my case is the 64 because my windows is 64 bits so you go to properties 
compatibility and then you put run this program as an administrator it's very important that you use this uh, compatibility here like always run with as administrator then you hit ok uh, you will need to make copies on your folders you go to C two dots program files you s you get the Jabla resurrected and you right click it in the folder you put copy and then you do paste it will create another copy of the game as you can see you will have two pastes pastes and then you open one paste you get the Jabla launcher you right click it send to uh, desktop and then it will generate one of these here and then you name it copy one so that's what I already did here and then you go to the second folder you do the same thing right click on the launcher send to desktop create shortcut and then you name it copy two you can do this for as many as you want if you want more copies you can just uh, copy the folder make another folder it's very important you make another folder so each of these launchers are going to be related to one of the folders right if you wanted three it would make three four five six seven uh doesn't matter right but if you have more than three i i think the is boxer is going to make your life so much better but if you only have like two copies this way is really good and you don't need to pay anything so it's fully free right that's an amazing way to do it so basically you open here uh your first account in the copy one and then you open the process explorer so once the game is up you go to your process explorer that you opened with uh, as an administrator and you will type d2r up here so once you click d2r here you will click the d2r you will see this event called check for other instances you right click it and you close the handle uh, very important for you to see it's called event and then sessions base name object Jabla 2 check for other instances you close it after it's closed you go to your copy 2 and then you will be able to play the other account as well so for example this is really good to set up yourself a bio barb so that you can play, for example, this assassin here. I can make like box three password three. I can enter with the barb. And then I can BO myself in River of Flame. And then my assassin will be BO'd with a lot of life so I can kill monsters and be happy with it, right? But if you want to use a player Z, I highly recommend you to use this boxer. It is the best tool out there. If your computer is a, a little bit weaker, you can always install the block HD files. Always remember as well, if you multibox to turn your graphics to low, that will save a lot of energy and will make your game a lot uh, smooth. It will run a lot smooth. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to multibox Diablo 2. I appreciate you all for watching, the ones that watched all this far, and I will see you in the next one.